Hi there. Welcome back to the 26th in this series of video blogs from Foot Life Theatre Company here in Newcastle, New South Wales, Australia. My name is David, I am the current president. Oh, thank you very much for tuning in for the creation of Marishka. Now we're moving on to the next job I've got to do. That is the creation of a series of rod puppets ripping off Harvey Norman and Kevin Rudd. If you're Australian, you'll get the joke. Okay, this one is different materials. Again, everything's totally recycled as much as I can, and hopefully you'll get a lot out of this one. Stay tuned, because Marishka is not gone. She's just finished, that's all. In up and coming episodes, uh, you'll actually see a special perform YouTube performance from her, as well as um, some other really, really cool stuff that us footlouts are, footlouts are going to be putting together. So, I've babbled long enough, I uh, better get to work. This is David from Footlight Theatre Company saying peace out and I'll see you soon. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make the heads for a set of rod puppets. Uh, these rod puppets are going to be Kevin Grudd and Harvey Norman. So, if you're not, what I'll do is I've already done it with these two because flat pieces. Um, we're going to glue these together, okay? So that Okay, just what, we want, what we're looking for is like a three or four thickness uh, box foam. These are the lids off, off boxes, but feel free to get a, just get a box and slice the faces off. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this lip piece. Okay. You know, I've taken those edges off, that lip. Grab another piece of box foam. Make sure all sticky tape and stuff is removed. Okay. Now my favourite bit is you take your PVA glue and just splatter it on there. Take your phone, turn it over, press it on, and put a brick on it and walk away. That's, the, that's that step. So you've got a piece roughly three thick, thicknesses long, thicknesses thick. Okay, I've done a few more on this one. Just give myself four thicknesses. That's absolutely huge when it comes to rod puppetry. Okay, so I'll just put a brick on this and I'll show you the next step when we come to it. Okay, so now we've got our box foam. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I want a couple heads. Okay, and what we'll do is we'll make the heads around. I want them to be able to be seen from way, way, way over there. Okay, remember, you know, um, a puppet needs to be seen right at the back of the room. So I'm going to make their heads a little big. That'll do. Now the real messy bit. Take a saw and cut that out. Next tool you need is remember the rough file that we used for um, using Rishka's skin. Same thing. Very rough, very, very rough file. You don't need to be perfect on this. Take those edges off. This is a really, really messy process, so I highly recommend you don't uh, do it in your lounge room or your bedroom. Uh, find yourself a, um, a shed or something like that and clean up art as you go. I highly recommend that. It's like there's nothing worse than getting to the end of your puppet making stage, turning around and finding the place in the entire mess. So clean up as you go along.
head. Go back to your phone. Now oh, this is because I'm making a second head. I'm going to make them two characters, two caricatures. So, just pretty much just trace around it and cut out that one. Exactly the same way. There we go. Got our two heads. Show you the next bit. Okay, I went and got some dowel. Okay. Um, now I keep probably notice I use a fair bit of dowel. You don't have to use dowel, okay? Um, I found that um, chopsticks. Chopsticks are a fantastic uh, resource. You can use them for your inlays, for your Marishka puppets. You can use them as rods for rod puppets. You can use them for pretty much anything. So chopsticks are a really, really cheap alternative. We've, I've just been using offcuts from uh, previous shows, that, stuff, that we, um, stuff that we don't use, um, use pretty much. I never throw anything away because I'll, I'll usually find a use for it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a channel at the back. I'm using, I'm using like the round edge of this, um, this file. Same on the other one. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to glue these rods into there. Okay? But I'm not going to do that right now because that's a job that you leave overnight to dry. Okay? So I'm going to, I've already cut the channels so I know that when I go home tonight I'll lay some glue into there. And then by morning it should be okay. I'll also reinforce that. I'll drill a few holes in there, put some, put some nails into there, just slide them in. Okay, with a bit of glue, just to be on the safe side. Okay, these guys are going to be talking puppets. Okay, so what I'll do is, is remember we did with Marishka. Draw a line down the centre. Draw a line across the middle. That's where your eyes are going to be. Draw one in the middle. That's where your nose is going to be. Draw one in the middle. That's where your mouth is going to be. Okay, what I'm going to do is do that okay so i'm going to create a channel for which the mouth is going to open and close good like a smaller saw like a hacksaw blade and we cut those out okay now we've got that with no lower jaw go to an off cutter phone have a look at it uh, yeah, make that a little wider. Okay, now you notice that that fits into there. Okay, what I'm going to do, that's going to be the mouth. Okay. What you do is just work it around in there. And what it does is just Make it so it doesn't get that squeak in there. Uh, if you'd like to drop us a line, say hi. Uh, we're at footlice at yahoo.com. Uh, feel free to rate us down the bottom or feel free to comment and feel free to subscribe too. There's lots more coming up. So this has been David from Footlice Theatre Company in Newcastle, New South Wales saying peace out and catch you later.